Welcome to part three of uh, drawing a drain plan. We are doing a drain plan for a separate system, which means there's a separate line going up for the storm, a separate line going up for the sanitary. Our first job in starting this, we'll start with the sanitary first. First step, we must decide which is the main stack in the building, and the main stack will always be our furthest soil stack, and that's our first option. So we can label MS. We can put a clean out as per code, and it has to be a minimum of four inches because the building drain needs to be a minimum of four inches. When we draw the line out to the sanitary, that becomes our uh, building drain, and we label it four inches. Once we have done that, we can now connect all our remaining stacks. All our remaining stacks need to have a clean out at the base as per code. We do not know what size it is, and we connect them all with the Y45 connection. Uh, on the way out of the building, we have our four inch clean out as per code. The last thing we have to do is connect any fixtures located in the lower part of the building. So we have a floor drain, it's the only fixture. We have to connect it, it has to have a trap, so we show its trap on its side. And again, we connect it with a Y45 connection. Once we've done that, we now can connect up the foundation drain to the storm. Our foundation drain goes all the way around the outside of the building. The connection is in the lower left corner, which is labeled FDC. We bring it in and we connect it to the storm going outside the building, making sure we have a four inch clean out per code. And you'll notice that there's broken lines because the storm is lower than the sanitary. Once we have done that, we need to uh, now add color to all our lines to indicate red is for sanitary, blue is for storm water. And again, making sure we have all our clean outs at all our stacks and make sure we have our clean out as it leaves the building.